good morning from frozen, frozen Michigan. Today is um, about one degree at the moment. It is 8.30ish in the morning. Ooh, this is our snow at the moment. Yuke. So anyway, um, this week I had some auction wins and I went and picked them up. And I want to show you what the back of my van looks like at the moment. Let's take a peek at it. Because today we are going to go through all these boxes of the stuff that I want. <laughs> and oh, it's hard to tell from here, but you can see I've got some lots of glass items. Lots and lots of glass items. It's going to be super duper fun. I use some calculators. I've got some trays and all sorts of fun stuff. So we are going to warm up and I'm going to bring them inside and we are going to go through these boxes and see what I got because it's hard to tell from the auction exactly what's in there. So it's going to be a surprise for both of us. Stay tuned. We're going to go through it. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff, isn't it, Eric? Mm -hmm. No matter that you took so long. Yeah, no wonder I took so long to load it in the car. It was so boring, right? Excuse our mess. I have six kids. It's impossible to stay on top of everything. Ooh. It can almost reach, reach this. Don't touch anything. Okay. Ooh. I'm excited to go through this. I'm going to set up and do a couple boxes at a time. Alrighty, welcome to my kitchen. This is where we're going to be doing the unboxing. You can see Roxy has joined me here and she is not being very helpful. Hmm. I've got two small boxes. Howard Miller desk clock and it does have a little um, it has a little icon thingy here it's got a model number and everything it's pretty cute and then this is I don't know what this is I have no idea what this is it's got this twisty thing here and this twisty thing here the card is so look at that. Oh, it's like a, okay, it's got a wick. Must be some part of a lamp of some kind. I don't know. Hmm. Here's another quartz. This one's by Linden. Pretty cute. Little gold tone clock. It does have some damage inside, as you can see. Some damage on the inside, but yeah, a dollar or two in my boot. Could be good. Baby Ben by Westcott. This one is plastic and it does wind up probably a little bit more recent than the other one. Maybe. I don't know. I like clocks. Here's just a random piece of Tupperware and my cardigan. My baby kitty. I'm going to have to try to do this later. My goodness. Okay, we've got a teeny tiny little candlestick here. This is just glass. A little silver creamer, real pretty little handle. It is Newport Gorham silver plate. Nice. Guys, could you turn it down just a bit, please? Okay. I'm gonna go in my boots too. Not for much. Okay. And another clock in here. This one's very cute. Okay. This one has a dead spider on it. Sorry about that. I need to clean it off. But this is like a porcelain clock. You can see? And it's really ornate and pretty and it's got the hand painting and let's see what it says. Johnson China. Style 298 with a session sessions AC movement. 120 volts, 60 cycles. Very cute. And it is a plug-in one. You can see that the plug is a little old. But yeah, I really liked that one. I thought that was cool. And I think the whole lot of clocks I paid $2 for. 
the actual whole lot of things from the auction I spent a little over two hundred dollars on. All right, so that was box number one. Let's see what's in the other little box. Ooh, this is the strawberry stuff. It has this cute little, it's like milk glass on the inside and it's strawberry. And it's got a cute little lid for it. I don't see a mark. Two others here that are shaped the same. I don't know if the lids are in here somewhere or in the other part of the lot. Here's a little red and yellow dish. Here's a little dish with a hole in the bottom. Oh, this is the apples. This is the top of it. It's like a little apple dish. So cute. Then I have a little trinket dish here. It is Dorados. Portugal. Made in Dorados, Portugal. It is like a little um, basket weave basket with little florals on the lid. Very sweet. And I've got another little porcelain basket type thing. This one is not marked. It does have an M embossed on the bottom there. But it is um, painted with gold. A gold accent around it. And does have a little hole on the bottom. Probably like a planter of some kind there. Some gold. And I've got another. Oh, this is cute. This is Spain. Spain H61. And it's another little very detailed basket weave. Oh, it is broken right here. Dang. Hmm. So, yeah, that's the problem with these um, auctions is that they can... It's hard to tell when I'm bidding online um, the condition of each of these items, and they don't exactly um, they don't exactly describe them very well, like which ones are broken and whatnot. So I have to figure that out when I get them home. But I did everything for such a good price. It's like the stuff that is broken, a little bit damaged. I will and everything that appears to be damaged. Right? I will either re-donate these or I will, I'm planning to, I haven't done this yet, so I don't know if it will be successful or not, but in my booth I'm thinking of making little boxes of damaged china if there is any interest for art projects, like if people are looking for damaged china to make things out of, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, I suppose we'll see. If I ever actually decide to do it. And this one, the last thing in this box, is a beautiful little ruffled bowl. Don't know who makes it. It does remind me of Fenton. But you can see it's got the opalescence and the ruffle and the hobnail. And this, I think it's cranberry. I think that's what it would be called. I do have some flea bites right here in a small crack. But I think we can overlook that and put that in the booth for sure. It's not too bad. This is a collector would still maybe like that. Okay, so that's the rest of that box. If you'll excuse me a moment, I will go and grab another. Alrighty, I got myself another couple of boxes here. This one here is full of vases. So let's see what awesome things that we got. Start here. This is very cute. From John and Judy with a last name I'm not going to say. Who knows? <laughs> it must have been a gift of some kind. This is like a very pretty purple vase and it has some hand painted, a little flower right here and some swirly filigree thingies and some gold. It's a really pretty little vase. I've got another one. This one is enameled. Oh, it's brass and it has enamel and this pretty little flower on the, t on the front of it. It's a black enamel, and this is almost poissonne, but it's not outlined in the brass. But that's pretty. I thought it was plastic at first, but it's not. Here's just an etched little vase, a glass etched tube vase. Very pretty. Boys. Boys! Boys! Okay. 
excuse me. And here's a little snowman head face. He's kind of cute. This is a pretty little clay vase, maybe handmade. It's not marked at all. It's like a rose pink lavender color. It's got some pretty glaze on it. This looks like maybe a, uh, I was gonna say maybe a sake server, maybe, or it's just a vase. It says made in Japan on the bottom. Made in Japan. It's really pretty. It's got the flowers. Oh, let's keep going. This is a little vase. Um, it's a C-H-O-K-I-N. Token. It's got that etched metal in there. And this one says 25th anniversary. And I don't generally sell the anniversary stuff in my booth because you see it everywhere and I don't like it. So I'll probably donate this one. This is cool. This is green with gold paint on it. And then it's got all these geometric swirlies. It's kind of nice. It's not marked either. It's cool. This is a metal vase, probably pewter. Yep, pewter. W-E-B pewter, number 1158. It's just cute little butt vase. Here is a little art vase. It's cute. It's got a really pretty shape and it's got this boat scene on the front and then it's got some flowers on the back. There's a signature on it. It says D Z D G. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. That's pretty though. I like that. Oh, a Christmas vase. This is Lennox. Eh. Maybe I'll save it for Christmas time in my booth. Or sometimes Christmas does actually go. Maybe I'll just put like a seasonal area in my booth and sell seasonal stuff. Who knows? I get these ideas. Ooh, this one's cute. This has some flowers on it. This is Lefton actually, hand painted. Lefton number 839. And it does have pretty flowers all over it, but the flowers, they are chipped. Mm, that's too bad. Damaged pottery lot. <laughs> Here's another metal and brass vase. This is one of those um, etched ones. It's got an etched flower and then the multi-type metal on it. Here's another purple vase. It looks like it matches this one. Yeah, it's got the same kind of painting on it. It's pretty nice. We have a little set, very cute. This one's very French. <laughs> it's like painted in French country. My grandma Mary used to collect. She loved this color combination. And it looks like it has it's not very detailed, but they look almost like they're supposed to be food dogs or something here. Not marked, it's got like a number three on the bottom, but that's pretty. Don't knock anything over. LSA International, handcrafted and mouth blown in Poland. So this is a little art glass vase, really pretty color. It's like a cornflower blue. I don't know if it translates well. It looks like it might be a little more saturated in the video, but. It's really pretty. I don't know how much likes this will get. I don't know. We'll have to see how many likes it gets. This one is fairly worn on this side, but it's a blue pottery type vase. Again, not marked. It's like a dark cobalt blue with the gold. This side is a little bit more intact than that side. Another brass etched vase. That's really pretty. This 
Somebody bought all the brass out of my booth. I have to restock it. So this is pretty. This is like an ivory base, and it's got the gold. It looks like a Lennox, but it is a Lennox, actually. I know that they do some, like, Big Lot stuff or, like, Dollar General stuff that mimics Lennox. And, yeah, this is definitely Lennox. Very pretty. In good shape, too. Another box. Which one should I do first? I don't want to break anything. <laughs> okay, let's find. Let's do this one first. This is a pretty little vase. This is Plantation Colonial, made in England by Masons for Carl Forsland, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And that's where I live, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So this is a really sweet little vase. I don't know if it has, if it's missing a lid or if it was supposed to be a box, but it's painted real pretty. I don't know if it's painted. That might be transfer. Hard to say, but it's pretty and I like it. Here is a really sweet old planter. USA Pottery. And it's got these really pretty little birds on it. That's really pretty. It's got great crazing. Great color. I wonder how he makes it. It's in good shape too. Okay. They use molds, honey, for the pottery. They'll have a mold, and then they'll pour the like porcelain slurry and stuff into it. It's really pretty. I like that one. Love birds. Okay, what next? Let's so come out of here without breaking. Ooh, ooh, this is some black glass. This is not pottery. It is glass. I do not see a mark on the bottom. It does have a design on this side. Let's see if you can see it. You see the two ladies dancing and it's like a heart. Two-handled vase. That's really pretty. It's got like a scalloped end, a scalloped rim. Honey, it has a few little flea bites in the finish on the top here. That's really cool, I like that. I'm worried about your elbows. It's a pretty little glass dish. I don't know a lot about glass. This is like a, gosh, what's the word? It's a brown. Taupe, kind of. It's like a taupe brown. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. It's got like the basket, the open work basket, and then the little hobnail on the I outside. I think it's like a flower. flower. It does look like a flower. I like that. Here is a yellow bowl, a yellow glass bowl, and it has, it's rimmed, you can see, rimmed, and it has these um, scallops, or ribbed, I think they the call them, and then like a little, I mean, I'll, I'll clean them, yeah, but they're so wet because they were cold coming out of my car, so like everything has condensation on it. <laughs> kind of fun. More stuff, more stuff. It's like a little ginger jar. I don't know if I have the lid. It's pretty colors though. And it has the remnants of a made in China sticker. It's blue, but somebody had a different price tag over the bottom. The remnants of that are there too, but yeah, made in China. Not China, made in Japan, I think. Pretty 100% sure. <laughs> but yeah, that's a really pretty color scheme. I like that. Here's a plastic bowl. Plastic bowl. It's kind of fun. I'll probably donate that. And it's got a very modern sticker. Dishwasher safe, top rack only, up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't put it in the microwave. Don't pour boiling water into the merchandise. Made in China. Only boiling water. Here we go. This is very fluorescent. Can you see it's a flower. how fluorescent that is? It it's is a, flower. a lovely flower bowl in pink. Did they make fluorescent pink? Let's find out. No, it's not fluorescent. It's just very bright. Mm. That's pretty. Good shape, too. Stay. 
Hmm. We've got another. See, this is one that would like kind of looks like it might be Lennox because it's that ivory porcelain and with the gold, but it's not. It's not marked. But it's still pretty, so I'll totally sell it. This is a Mount Vernon George and Martha Washington plate. And it has Mount Vernon in there. I like it. Ooh, look at this one. A piece of broken glass. Ooh. Okay. This. Not last though. P.H.T. patent number on the bottom there. And it's that lovely green and it's etched with flowers and it has a floral frog inside of it. That's really cool. And I don't know if it's, I don't think it's fluorescent, but. I don't see any fluorescent. No, that this thing in the middle. Yeah, it's not fluorescent. This thing in the middle here is called a floral frog. It's so you can, um, put flowers in it and arrange the stems in the middle so they don't just flop all over the place. I don't know why they call it a frog. Probably you put the water in there and it reaches the, the well, bottom we do four of boxes the flower here. and it can stay flush. Yeah, probably. And I think that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Put water in there, keep it nice. That's a really pretty bowl, I like it. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to stop for this video of the unboxing. I still have several hundred items to unbox for you. So I hope you join me again tomorrow or the next whenever I put it up. Is the know. next video going to come up later? Yeah, I'm going, to do, I'm going to record the videos as much today as I can so I can get this stuff off the dining room table. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.